Hello, so in the last lesson we worked on the search. Um, in this lesson we are going to work on the show link. So when we click on um, any of the, the posts, we need to show that post. But before that, let's see if we can refactor this line 4 a little bit. I'm going to extract out this. So copy this um, where um, method here. So command P, control P, and models post. So I'm going to go into the post model. Define a new method in this post model, which will be matching uh, title or content. All right, so this ourselves one argument. Um, so we say search, okay? So we just paste what we copied in here and we can end our method definition there. All right, so um, the search is our argument. There is no params in models. We don't have access to params. So we are going to get rid of that params there. Okay, and we'll paste in our search um, argument in there. All right, so now that goes into these two sections to replace our um, question marks. All right, so let's go in here. Uh, we can get rid of this now. So we've extracted this into our model and we called it uh, matching title or content. So copy this here and come over here and paste it. So this is one of the cases where we must have um, brackets for it to make sense. All right, so this is a class method um, which is called on post. So we have to remember to go back into our model and make this into a class method by saying self dot. All right, so we are nearly there. So um, the next thing we want to do is change the search so that it has params search. So when we do a search, it comes in as params, we paste it in here and it goes into our model and it does the work for us. Okay, everything else is fine and everything should work as normal. So if I come over here, copy this and paste this in here and do a search, it works. Um, we could test it a bit, um, a bit more by going into our database. So if I go into posts um, table, which is this one here, uh, choose any record, uh, go to the content area, double click and I will type in my name in here. So you could type in your name, enter, and click here to commit the change. And then come over here, I'm gonna search for King, uh, part of my name, and see if it finds it, and it finds a record. So we can't click on show yet, so let's work on um, making that work. All right, so if we come into our show method, as we've done a few times, I'm going to say by bug to see what data is sent to it from the view. So I click on show and then we go into our Rails console and we can see here uh, from tapping params we have action has show and ID has four. So this is the ID um, for our posts. So now we have four there and if I copy our params four and come over here, delete this, go back and click on C to continue execution. We can now say at this point, um, at posts equals, so we're going to say post.find, where find is a method that's available to every post, every model. So we're pasting our params ID in there. All right, so everything is found. It finds the, uh, the right post and it puts into our instance variable. So I'm going to say command P, view, space, admin, space, posts, and we have our show method, okay? Our show um, HTML. All right, so this is um, where we have um, the show file or the contents we put in here will be shown to the user when they click on the show link. All right, so one thing I want to do is um, create or make another P um, element. 
and within that I'm going to have a B for bold and we're going to say title in here and outside of the B we can um, say rails uh, should print out um, should be post a singular so we're just finding one record so it, it still works with plural but um, it's a, a lot more readable so post dot title like this all right so now we can copy this and paste it and change title to content and change it here to content here and copy and paste and change this to public um published is it published i think it's just publish just double check here and it is publish yep so it changes to publish over here all right so we have um we have one more line which is just um shows us created so that's the day or date this um, post was created and rails gives us a method called um, created underscore at and that's it let's save this and um, refresh our screen oh, sorry click on show here and it gives us the records that we need title content publish is true which we can change and we'll have uh, Kingsley's there so it's the right record so let's um, change this publish and use our helper and we'll do the same with um, the created as well so in our helper we have an application helper we have this method that we we wrote so we can copy that method go in here um, paste it just in front of publish cut the publish off and then replace status with it with post publish and when it's true we want it to print um, active and when it is false we want it to print uh, pending all right so but this is um, it's a bit of a repetition so um, what if we could just say that default truthy is active and default falsy is pending so that way we don't really have to explicitly um, name them in when we're using the method all right so now this means that we can come uh, to show method and we can get rid of this so by default it will ref revert to um, active and pending all right so we have uh, created at which we can uh, make to look a lot more readable so we can use what we've done before which is um, uh, time ago in words which is a helper from rails and put this there and we can reset this page and we have three days and we have active so we could change this to three uh, three days ago you can't add ago in here um, you can add it in here for example but we can use uh, our interpolation the string and come over here say uh, double quotation a hashtag curly bracket open and close and we can paste our code in there and just outside we can say a go so when we reset our page we have three days ago there uh, but we can actually we can actually extract this into a helper so every time we have to reference created we don't have to do this over and over again so I'm going to come over here to application helper so we want to use this in any controllers view so I said time ago will be the name of this method and we can just paste this in here all right so this will accept an argument uh, we'll call this time like two minutes ago ten minutes ago two days ago whatever all right so we can copy our time and replace our uh, post created created at uh, with time and that's that we can copy this time ago come over here uh, paste uh, time ago here and time will simply be our post uh, created at dot created underscore at and um, everything should work so save this and go into the view uh, refresh your screen we have active is still there and three days ago is still there 
now we have used this um, created ads somewhere before so I think we used it in uh, not sessions moderators moderator index so we have time ago so we could use our new helper here uh, get rid of a go and just say time underscore ago save this go into our moderators page it says three days ago so that's perfect posts is fine and um, when we go into a show method everything is fine all right so um, this will uh, conclude this lesson we've learned a few things we've written another helper method and we've seen why we need them it helps speed things up um, re remove repetition and we can now successfully say that this here is done all right so that's it for this lesson i'll see you in the next lesson